Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Stern AG. And parents out there with young children, couples planning to have kids, you need to be paying attention right now to the cost of college because tuition prices are insane. Uh, to help you prepare for that madness, you need to call Stern AG Knoxville. They'll listen to you. They'll look at your finances, financial situation. They will help you prepare your finances for the day when your youngins are going to college. Stern AG. All right, guys, uh, folks at home, I'm guessing most of you have heard about this controversy. Little John, it's uh, <laughs> John Adams this week said that Tennessee should disassociate itself from rapper Little John, who's the guy behind Third Down for Watt, visited the team. Uh, in, Adam's, in Adams' view, Little John was in on another song, not Third Down for Watt, but another song that was kind of misogynistic, well, not kind of misogynistic, it's misogynistic. And his view is because Little John had been involved in that song, Tennessee, with the rape allegations this week, should back away from Little John entirely. Sterling Hinton, you're the guy that's been down there playing that. Fans were, it looked from the crowd that they were still behind Little John last night. Uh, your thoughts on the, the controversy? Well, the incredible thing about it is not Little John. It's me, Stone <laughs> Pearl, third down for what? That's my voice. It's Little John's beat, and he's an artist. I wonder if John Adams even knew Little John before this year. Hmm. <laughs> well, think about that. Now, so what I'm saying is, artists makes music. They make songs for people to enjoy. It's your choice to choose the songs that you like. Well, I, I, I don't care if you're an artist or not. You don't condone that. He do, he's not, not condoning condone, anything. Well, you sang it. He's not condoning anything. You sang it. Well, hey, he's not you condoning sang anything. It, then don't sing he's it. He's not condoning anything. Hey. Freedom of speech. I've had, I've had <laughs> freedom no, of speech. No, no, no. Hey, no, no, it's true. Wait, no. no, I'm going to go ahead. Because it's amazing yeah. how people are quick to say something about an artist. But some people write things <laughs> well, look, on that First uh, Amendment. But here's the thing. No. Bob. Whoa. Well, he didn't write uh, that. If I can get a little time here from Senator McCarthy. <laughs> um, I, I just don't think. So what? He's associated with this. If it was an actor that was in a movie, we're going to disassociate. We're going to disassociate from this person. Pretty soon we disassociate from anything. I went and listened to the song Turned Out for What. <laughs> I went and read about Little John. Little mm -hmm. John's a pretty well respected and Absolutely. seems like a very good guy. So what? So he, he was associated with a song that is bad. You can't just pull back from all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just think it's a non-issue. He, 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 he would be my issue, and I'll, let you, I'll let you come back. Uh, my mm -hmm. issue, if, if the song you were playing was the misogynistic yes. song, I would have an issue. Absolutely. If Little John had had some sort of arrest in his background, I would have an issue. I don't think, I may be wrong, Jimmy, but I'm going to guess before you read John Adams' column, you didn't know that Little John had another song with another group that was misogynistic. So I to me, not. yeah, to me. I didn't know who Little John was until this year. Right, well, until but to you, me, you're so looking. So what? That's what I'm saying, but that it's doesn't matter with I knew him. Hey, I, host's rule here. But to me, if, if you're having to draw 14 lines to connect yes. the dots, it's too far to make it a controversy. Yes, if this were, if, this were, if they were playing the we're bad doing. song, then I'd have a better issue. Better Catch and Ride did not make anybody assassinate anybody. So, I was, you know, a book doesn't make anybody do something. A song doesn't make anybody do something. And I don't think that tie, I think that tie's too that. far along. Let me, let me show you another photo here. I think this is interesting. There is Les Dog along with Little Butch. This isn't the first time you've had an artist cozy up to a coach. That's Les Miles with Snoop Dogg. For those who don't know, we were talking about people who know grass earlier. Snoop Dogg <laughs> has made a career of singing, of rapping about weed. All right. And you, you certainly have college football players. That's against the law in Louisiana. You know, you still can't smoke pot in Louisiana. Should LSU disassociate themselves from Les Miles? I, I, I mean, from, from Snoop Dogg. I think that uh, you get into those, those areas, it's kind of a slippery slope. But I'll give you the final side. I don't think comparing weed to sexual assault is uh, anywhere in the same ballpark. So I, I just, I think singing about it, in my opinion, is basically condoning it. I get asked to do a lot of spots on the radio. There's some I turn down because of the message. So I'm, I'm just not a fan of it, and I disassociate with it. Okay. Sterling, let me ask you this. Uh, is it likely that third down for what was going to be the third down anthem next year? Well, you know, it, it could be. You know, the, the fans, it's all about the fans. It's really not about really what we think. It's about what the fans and what they enjoy, and our fans okay. enjoy the enthusiasm and kneeling when third down for what comes on. And it actually helped our team in third down situations. Crowd, crowd loved it, and the, the team loved it. All right. Um, Non-controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Vols, here's something that's not controversial. The Vols need a win over Vanderbilt. Will yes. they get it? We'll set the Cavalaris line. Come on back on the Sports Source. Decks, dens, homes. Turn to Benedict Construction. 